Hey guys, welcome back to One Owl's Pub, or in this case, the uh, wood pile up at uh, One Owl's Cabin. Um, just wanted to do a, a follow up video on my little case small stockman here. Um, had it now about, I don't know, three, four weeks, five weeks, I don't even remember uh, how long it's been, um, but it has not left my pocket since the day I got it. Uh, it has become my go to secondary EDC that frankly has kicked every other small knife out of my pocket. Uh, with its three blades and its uh, very small, compact uh, carryability and uh, ease of slipping into the watch slash coin pocket, uh, it's just dominated everything. So uh, I really don't carry small knives, any other small knives anymore. Not to say that I never will again, but this thing is just went in big time. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit here and show it to you guys again. So. As I showed you in my initial video on this guy, it's got the three blades, the uh, sheep's foot, the clip point, and the pen knife, or pen blade, I guess. Uh, I, I used it enough, I've used it enough now to actually have dulled the blades somewhat. They weren't r razor sharp when I got it, of course. Um, uh, but I have, in trying to resharpen them, I was like, I don't think I can get this thing on the sharp, or excuse me, on the wicked edge. Uh, I may be able to, and, you know, I just I felt like you know what this would be a good opportunity to break out the old Spyderco sharp maker, so I did so, and I sharpened it up on the uh, on the sharp maker, and now it will cut phone book paper on the sharp maker, or after after some time on the sharp maker. Um, is it as blaze and sharp as I could get it on the Wicked Edge? No, uh, and it does have a little bit of a toothy edge on all three knives, uh, all three blades, but regardless, uh, it is definitely sharp, and for really for what I'll use this little guy for, plenty sharp to get the job done. Uh, the future will tell whether or not I ever put it on the Wicked Edge, um, but again, it's such a tiny blade, or such a tiny knife with such tiny blades, that uh, that's a lot of work to get it all set up to do that. Uh, and it, like I said, it gave me, my ch gave me a chance to use the uh, the old sharp maker again. And I kind of forgot what a good little sharpener that is, that little system is. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's just been uh, an absolute joy to, to have and to own. Um, I've been having... Uh, First, probably the first week I had it, even though I carried a, a larger, you know, about a three and a half inch blade with me also uh, as my primary EDC. I bet for the first week I had it, I bet I didn't cut anything uh, uh, with the, the big knife. I cut everything with this little guy, and he did the job great. Uh, since then, I've really uh, only run into a couple instances where this was too small to do the job, uh, frankly. Um, so, what does that say about carrying ginormous knives? Yeah. Is a little bit of an indulgence, uh, probably. Yeah, uh, there's a reason our grandfathers all carried these things and got away with uh, carrying a knife like this uh, in their pocket uh, most days and, and got everything they needed done uh, with it. Um, it's just such a great uh, all-around uh, EDC type knife. Uh, if you guys don't get, have one of these, you really should consider getting one. I don't know if it has to be the actual small stockman. I have to be honest. I think this is the perfect size. I mean, it is for me. Uh, Unlike other knives, which, like a like, let's say a Spider Co, a, like a paramilitary two, or or a Hinderer or a Chris Reeve product, you buy one, it's awesome. You want another one, um, not because the one you have isn't good, but because the one you have is so good that you want additional ones. Well, I kind of wondered if that same thing would happen with me here. If I go, oh, this is so neat, I need to have a bunch of other little, uh, you know, traditionals or whatnot. And to be honest, I haven't felt the pull to do that, and I don't think it's because it's not so good. As a matter of fact, it's great. Uh, I think it's just because I hit this one right dead in the bullseye when I bought this this particular uh, model, this particular pattern. The small stockman with its three blades and its tiny little size uh, is just exactly what I was looking for in a in a small knife like this. And I'm not the it's the only traditional I own. Uh, those the traditionals, I dig them as eye candy, and I kind of went through this in my initial uh, Stockman video, or my, you know, my initial video on this knife. Um, I don't know that I, you know, I want a big traditional. I don't know that that really, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't like to have one, but I, I don't know. I just don't feel pulled to buy one. Um, so I don't know. I mean, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll pick up something else smaller like this, another one of these, or maybe a, a tiny trapper, which is even smaller in the case lineup uh, than the small Stockman. It's a two-bladed. Uh, and one of them has, you can get it with a really nice worn clip on it. So that one has tempted me. I'll be, I'll be straight. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. I just, 
I love this little knife, and I don't know that I need another one. It's it's kind of it hits me in a weird and a different spot than you know something like oh uh, say what else I have in my pocket today, which is this feller. Uh, the um nums on. Um, you know I've been carrying that uh, pretty much since I got it as well, and I love that thing crazy too. Uh, but uh, this, you know, I got after getting my large uh, 21 Sabenza and Singo and wanted another Chris Reef because it was awesome. This, as much as I love it, I don't feel like I need another one. So it's a weird thing. I don't know. It's like these two knives hit me in two different places. Um, I don't know if it's because maybe the little traditional like this just reminds me of the knife that I had as a kid that my grandfather gave me and maybe... Uh, I think I found that knife again. I don't think it was this exact model. I don't really remember um, if it was two or three blades back then. I know it had at least two. might have had three. I honestly don't recall exactly what it was. I didn't know any better at the time. But I feel like I've kind of found that knife again. And this is kind of the replacement for that. And I just don't feel like I, I want to buy another one at the moment. I'm really just in love with this little guy. So I guess we'll just uh, own him for a while. And we'll see if anything else shows up. But guys, if you're looking for a small traditional an affordable small traditional. This is a great knife. Three blades, super lightweight, two and five eighths inches long, all folded up, stick it in your coin slash watch pocket. Good to go all day. All right, guys, that's one else two cents. Keep the change. Sláinte.